Hey there, folks. This is Mark at Copters, Crawlers, and Planes, RC Pacific Northwest. Sure do appreciate you dropping by my channel. Uh, you will uh, already know as you're watching this video uh, what the topic is. Uh, the scale uh, scratch build project that I've begun uh, today by conceiving the idea and then uh, making a list of uh, expected needed materials and then going and getting those materials at my local hardware store. Uh, and in this way, I'm a, giving, my, giving myself a great project to work on during the uh, coronavirus situation where we all find extra time on our hands. And at the same time, I'm helping out a local business, my Ace Hardware Store. So again, uh, from the thumbnail photo for this video and the title of this video, you already know what I'm doing. So let's take a look at the uh, parts and pieces that I got uh, for the project. Now, the thumbnail uh, video shows a, a, a pre-1955. Uh, uh, let me back up just a little bit. Uh, I ordered recently and paid for, and uh, Horizon Hobby has shipped out to me as I speak, and uh, the item is on its way to me in Seattle as I speak. That item is the uh, Axial SCX-10-2 uh, 1955 Ford F-100 Scaler Crawler. Okay, so that's on its way to me now, all right? So while I'm waiting for that, uh, while I've been waiting for that to come, and it's coming in only five days, which is pretty quick, uh, while I'm waiting for that to come, I thought, well, let's go online and find some nice scale accessories to put in the back of the truck and everything like that, you know. And I, I thought I'd like to do what I've done before, but, but more extensively, which is uh, make some videos of some, you know, have a lot of camping gear with the truck and have have scenes at the end of the video where the truck is in its uh, camping place and there's a campsite set up with my crawler uh, next to the camping site with all my camping gear. You know, so I thought I could buy all that scale crawling camping gear and, and do that. And I thought, wait a minute. And then I also, uh, you know, have often seen and in, in, including just not too, maybe a couple of hours ago, I saw some videos of some guys crawling and they had some of the crawling trailers that you can buy. And those were piled up with scale camping gear. And I thought, well, that's another, you know, another way to go. I have a trailer with scale camping gear. And I thought, wait a minute. There's a whole different way to go that I would like to do. Why don't I actually make... Since it's a 1955 truck, why don't I make a 1955 or earlier scale travel trailer, do-it-yourself scratch build? Uh, why don't I go online, find a photo of an actual scale trailer that I really like that would be great to go with my uh, 55 Ford F100 crawler and build a scale trailer, a trailer based off that photograph? So instead of having scale items on the truck and on the ground when I get to my camping place at the end of the video, I'll have a trailer and you'll be able to lift off the roof and see the complete entire scale interior with, you know, sleep with beds and curtains and a stove and a refrigerator, windows, all that. Just like the, uh, it's going to be just like the trailer that you see in the photo. And uh, I've got, uh, so I'm going to show you the materials I'm using for that. And the idea is uh, that this, you know, this imaginary uh truck owner of my 55 Ford, he's going to go out crawling, and I'm going to use that truck um, mostly for trailing uh, and mild to moderate uh, raw crawling, right? So I, because uh, this is a truck that's so pretty, I want to keep it that way, right? Um, so it's going to be mostly for trailing and mild to moderate uh, raw crawling, and so I don't have to worry about the trailer being able to do hardcore raw crawling, uh, but I do have to have the trailer be able to be a uh, be able to handle some mild to moderate crawling and of course a lot of off-road crawling so what I'm going to do is build the trailer to scale like in the photograph thumbnail photograph for this video uh, and then I'm going to put a uh, sick sick uh, off-road uh, tires and wheels on it right and a suspension on it that will make it off-road capable so that's the plan uh, so let's look and see what, what kind of materials I got here all right so let's come up here and we're going to kind of start from the go from the bottom up I'm in the car right now my mobile RC unit Here's my dog, Jimmy, with his long schnoz. Good boy. Okay. We just got out back from the hardware store. Okay, so to start off with, uh, as you can see, i got some stuff here. Uh, this dog bone will not be used in the construction of this vintage travel trailer, off-road modified. Okay, we're going to start off with, well, two things. So from the ground up, I said, so the floor is going to be made with this. Uh, you can see that's pretty thick. Okay. Now the floor is going to be made up of this right here, and what I'll be doing is cutting off pieces that you know, like about this wide, and then I'll then I'll run a number of them like this until I've got enough. Probably be more like about like this, right? So I'll 
take probably about four of these and put them side by side until I've got, you know, a shape the size of the entire uh, chassis of the trailer that I want. We'll start with that. Okay, and then I'm going to use, uh, then I'm going to use uh, some of these other pieces. I'm going to use this here then to make the primary framework. Uh, 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 this will go on to the thick bottom balsa. Excuse me, this is basswood, by the way. This is basswood for the for the floor and bottom of the, uh, it'll be for the floor of the travel trailer, and it'll also form the chassis of the travel trailer, right? So I want it to be strong. So this is not balsa, it's basswood. Very light, but very strong. Uh, so that's going to be the floor of the uh, trailer and also form the chassis. That will be reinforced uh, with this for frame. All the main frame, uh, you know, for the trailer, along with the floor will be made with this balsa, which is quite stout, as you can see. Um, okay, so we'll start with that. Then we're going to, uh, 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 and the framework will not only be for the, for the bottom part, you know, it'll also be for the, for the actual, for the actual structure of the trailer like this, right? So we're going to build the floor, reinforce the floor with this, and this will also form a surface to put the walls and whatnot on. Okay. And then after that, we're going to build a frame onto the floor here. That will allow us to take this wood. Now, this balsa wood here is very, very thin and bendable. As you can see, that's quite, quite bendable. And I could bend it more, but I'm not going to. But it's very thin and very, very flexible. So I'm going to bend the frame, uh, the wood, this direction, see, this way, uh, around the wood frame that I build with this to get the shape of the to get the basic shape of the trailer as you see in the thumbnail photo for this video, right? Uh, and then once I've got the roof and the side, well, and of course, it's gonna be, a, there's the, gonna be the front of the trailer with this thin material. The front of the trailer will go up, then there'll be a curve going to the roof, and then it'll taper down, come down, go down, back to the floor again. And this will be again made from pieces, right? Uh, pieces end to end, butted together. And, and then they'll be supported by uh, an internal frame. Okay. Uh, now for the uh, now we're gonna pull out some other stuff. Now this here, I got some uh, strong dowel material here too, which may be used for part of the frame. I may use this for part or all of the uh, tow hitch uh, 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 structure. You know, the not the hitch itself, but the actual uh, structure for the, the tow hitch mounts onto. Okay. Now let's look and see what else we got here in the bag. Okay, we can't see in the bag. We can sort of see in here. Uh, we'll just pull, pull them out as they go. Okay, so now this is a clamp that I got, which is really cool. Because after I glue something together, I want to hold it together. Now, this clamp is really cool because you loosen it. You loosen it up down here. Then you squeeze it to whatever you want and let go, and it automatically holds its place. You see what I mean? Let's see. Uh, so I squeeze it, right? Hold it. And it holds in place. See that? I like that. And then it's got a lever, kind of like a vice grips, a lever to release it. See that? Great. So I got a great clamp for this job. I want to do a good job on this. So I got some good stuff. Now I got to tell you, I've spent $75 in materials on this project right now at the, at the hardware store. So let's keep going. Uh, now we got some sandpaper here. Uh, we got a real fine sandpaper for finishing, finishing, smoothing, pre painting. Uh, we got a, a much heavier grit for shaping and a real heavy grit for heavy shaping because in order to make it not look uh, do it yourself you got to have those nice rounded edges and curves you know for this scratch build vintage pre-1955 travel trailer all right what else have we got we got uh we got a basic exacto knife set for cutting the balsa okay uh we've got aluminum very thin also very dang flexible see that very flexible which i'm going to use for various things we have now i didn't show you one thing when i make windows i'm going to cut out first of all on the sides i'll cut out the windows and then i'll reinforce them uh with some of this balsa right and then the actual trim inside and out uh, will be done with either the thicker balsa here which is quite small as you can see or the real fine detailing will be done with this little super tiny, super tiny one. Okay, um, we've got these two. So we got we've got one, two, three. Yeah, we've got one, two, three. Uh, 
opens up as well, not down, but it's nice in there. Um, yeah, so we've got three different sizes, uh, four different sizes of, of, actually, here we go. We've got five different sizes of dowel, not dowel, of, yeah, okay, it's a square dowel. We've got five different sizes of dowel that we're using uh, for various parts of the model. This uh, super heavy here, okay, then this one is this fl flat one here, then the, uh, then the small square, uh, small square, can I, can I start over? The biggest one is there. There's the biggest one. Flat, small one. Uh, la uh, larger square. Tiny square. Okay, so that's all the wood that we've got up here in this little little pile. All right, so now let's go back into what's in the bag. What's in the bag? Uh, okay, and then we got our finishing materials. So we got uh, a couple of cheap brushes. And I'm using my, my dog's brand new bed to put all this stuff in. I'm sure he appreciates that. There's my receipt. Why am I showing you the receipt? I don't know. Okay, now here's some acrylic paint. Right, this this three pack was about six bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, I'm going to give you the prices on these items at the end real quick. Uh, now this is an acrylic paint set. And it's got good colors for this uh, project because this green right here is, is uh, not too far off from the color of the axial 55 forward crawlers i'm getting it's a little different but it'd be perfect complement to it uh it's got silver in there which i need for window frames and other things uh it's got dark plum i don't think i'll probably use that but i've got uh, the silver and the green i'll definitely use be able to use really well on that and that's from testers all right and then this is going to be the spray paint this is very very similar to the green of the truck i'm getting very similar so the truck so the travel trailer that I'm making, vintage scratch build travel trailer I'm making, is going to be painted in a, in a color that's very close to the color of the truck. If it doesn't match, it'll complement very well to the color of the truck. And of course, I'm going to mask it off and uh, and uh, maybe have uh, mask it off and I'll probably have an accent stripe of a different color than uh, I'll probably put maybe a silver accent stripe with this green main color. This is green main color. So. All right, then, is that everything? That is everything from my local East, the Helpful Harbor place. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at these items. 75 bucks, approximately, like I said. All right, so let's see, the uh, the tin sheet, the, the, the aluminum sheet was 279 The hobby knife set, exacto, was fourteen ninety nine. Uh, let's see, the green paint it was 4 bucks. Clamp was seven fifty. Uh, what else? Sandpaper at 99 cents each. Sorry about the terrible shot. Uh, what else we got? The base, let's see, the, the big base wood, uh, floor sheet was four bucks. The thinner sheets were four bucks. The little balsa strips were, uh, 259 each. Dowel was 99 cents. The tiny balsa strips were 79 cents each. That's it. Came out to 73.51, including tax. All right, folks, there you go. That's my project. I'm looking forward to doing it. And uh, hope you'll come on back and uh, see the videos that I'll be posting about the progress. All right. This is Mark at Copters, Carlos, and Plains, RC Pacific Northwest. Completing uh, video number one of the uh, scratch build of the 19, uh, early 1950s vintage travel trailer project that I'm making to go along with my 1955 Ford F100 Axial SC10 II crawler. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay safe, stay apart, stay alive, and keep on RCing. Thanks, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye now.